Hey guys, I'm Chef Naisha Arrington. Today here with Well and Good, I'm going to show you how to make the most beautiful, vibrant, summery salad with a sweet basil vinaigrette. Super simple with corn, peaches, avocado, and of course, heirloom tomatoes. What I like to do is start with the vinaigrette first. I wanna allow the flavors to marry and they can sit while we dice up our veggies for our salad. We're going to start with some local honey. I always try to use local honey because ultimately you get the sort of terroir of the area around you, right? The bees are pollinating the flowers and, and you get that sort of essence of where you are in the world. And I like to use one clove of garlic. But what I do is actually blanch the garlic because you don't want the garlic to overpower something delicate like corn, tomatoes, you know, basil. A really light garlic flavor can be achieved simply by putting your garlic in boiling water and it takes a bit of the astringency out, but you get all of the flavor. I'm going to sprinkle in Himalayan sea salt, which is my favorite salt to use. It has natural minerals in the salt. It's kind of like a double duo here. So we're gonna start by combining these ingredients together. So I'm just kind of creating a little paste here and create a base for our vinaigrette. Perfect. And from here, I'm going to add a handful of basil. Also, I'm a big, proponent for trying to add vegetables whenever possible. So I'm adding spinach, but we're also adding chlorophyll. There's natural chlorophyll in spinach, which is gonna make our vinaigrette very vibrant and green. And it's gonna give us lots of vitamin A and C. I'm going to add a little bit of water to our spinach and basil mixture here. Just a splash. Ultimately, that's just to sort of coax everything along. So once this begins to sort of process, we'll just kind of coax the sides down. Now I'm going to start to add my fats. Have grapeseed oil and olive oil. With vinaigrettes that have spinach or basil in them, you don't want to over mix them so that it doesn't heat up. Once this starts to get hot, that's where our vinaigrette will turn brown. So we really just want to mix it to combine. I'm also waiting to add the vinegar to the very last moment so that it doesn't react with the chlorophyll that's naturally in these greens. Wow. It smells phenomenal. So we have this beautiful, vibrant, green, delicious basil vinaigrette. You can totally keep this in an airtight container in the fridge a couple days if you wanna get ahead on prep. Now that we have our basil vinaigrette done, we're going to get into our prep. Easy tip, when cutting fresh corn, what I actually like to do is lay my corn down flat and then I just run my knife along the outside. And then you have a very easy, you know, way to cut the corn off the cob and it's just safer. And now we just take our little towel and our cutting board's still clean. Next up, our peaches. So for this salad, you want to use a peach that's not super ripe. We want some texture and some firmness to this. I'm just gonna do a little medium dice on this peach. I think that'll be a nice way to get a little bit of avocado, a little bit of tomato and some fresh corn. You want things to be sort of similar size based on the texture and the mouthfeel of the particular ingredients. And then our beautiful basil vinaigrette's gonna sort of hug all of those ingredients together. Now for the heirloom tomatoes. For the tomatoes, you want to find a tomato that's not too soft, right? We want something that just has a tiny bit of give because ultimately it's gonna be the sweetness that we're looking for. What I tend to do is take the tip of my knife and I just kind of take the core out this way so that you reserve a lot of the flesh of the tomato, right? You get just a lot more yield. Avocado, one of my all-time favorite fruits. Again, for a salad, you want something that's a little bit on the firmer side, and you can totally save your avocado seed and grow a whole plant. I have a few avocado plants at my place now, and they're gonna give me avocado trees at some point. So we have our corn, we have our avocado, we have our tomatoes, we have our peaches. Now we wanna add a little bit of like layer and flavor to our salad. That is gonna come by the way of shallot. I absolutely adore shallot. They are so amazing. And it's a way of adding this sort of allium oniony flavor with a delicate balance of sweetness. So what I like to do is I just cut either side of the shallot off first, and then you can get a really nice dice. 
What I like to do when I make dishes is you're either thinking, what is a contrast flavor? Sweet, salty, spicy, all of the adjectives. Or you're thinking, what flavors are gonna echo each other, right? So in this salad, we made our delicious basil vinaigrette. So we should put some fresh basil in there and that will have sort of a conversation in itself in our salad, right? You get some basil flavor up front, but then you also get this sort of muddled basil flavor in the background. When I use basil in the fresh leaf form, I really just tear it. Basil tends to bruise very easily, so you don't want to like handle it too much, right? This can be like the last little bit of your salad prep. So for the salad, I like to season my salad very well, right? Because tomatoes don't come off the vine season. So a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, tons of black pepper, tomatoes love black pepper, and a good amount of our basil vinaigrette. About like a half a cup to a cup, depending on how well dressed you like it. This is not like one of those greens salad, right? With like lots of lettuce. This is a composed salad. So this type of salad can sit for a little while and get better over time, really. So the fun part, the plating part. And since I'm a sauce person, I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom of our plate. It's nice when you can see all of the ingredients and you really know what you're eating and everything's not too mashed up and small. I really like that. I think we should put a little bit of fresh basil for garnish. And voila. So we've made this amazing, delicious, summer vibes, corn peach avocado salad with this vibrant basil vinaigrette. Let's taste this. I mean, already looks amazing. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch here. This salad takes me on a journey. It's like very bright, acidy. There's a beautiful sweetness and creaminess that comes from the components of this. I hope you enjoy it. Make it at home. Definitely tell your friends and have them over to enjoy it with you. Thanks for hanging out with me today in the kitchen. Definitely subscribe to Well and Good and we'll see you for the next recipe.